game because i like to play strategy games and there are lot of strategies you need for the zombie tower stages in age of origins in zombie tower defense once you go for the higher level of the stages you got higher level of zombies so it's hard to kill with them in level 1 or level 2 laser tower or the missiles so i played this stage around 200 plus times so i can cross this stage so finally i got the hack about the how you can get the stages easily cross so now i know that a specific level of zombies need to be a specific level of weapons laser tower and machine guns and all also you need to put stun towers so they can be slow because you can't kill a lot of zombies in one time if there are too many zombies the weapon your laser or anything like missile will be confused and you can't attack right way so you need to slow down by putting the tower of stun the zombies we don't need to make all tower in first wave or the start of the game also we can put highest level of laser tower or weapons you can want to use for the stages near the base so it helps to protect your base and keep your hp high same time it's give you a lot of resources because if we got highest level of towers in our base it can kill highest level of zombies and also the highest level of zombies will give you higher level of resources and you can then make the other towers as well so finally i am able to complete this stage and kill these huge monsters and zombies also the chaos land a multi-level battle arena event is on in age of origins where different nations of age of origins participate and you can do war with them we first need to entry on chaos land it's free the first time it's free but if we want to leave the battlefield in middle of the arena so we need to use a chaos land pass for gold to return the chaos land event is divided in three slots and we can join in two battles and there are three slots available for this event there will be no dead troops or troops can't be killed in chaos land once we return in our original lesson the all of our troops will be recovered so it's a very good event you can get experience of doing battles in age of origin and same time you didn't have any loss or you don't have to care about your loss in your city we have to earn points of the chaos land and also we can go for the solo points and the alliance points there will be ranking rewards also there are chaos land permits you can exchange for the other gifts or rewards so guys you can do this event with your friends and you can go with your alliance friends or other friends and you can participate and play with them you can also download the game age of origins download link is in the description and you can join the aladdin for the gameplay so guys the last event i want to tell you about the age of origins is the road of the legends the road of the legends is the seasonal event or monthly event you can say it's go for one month and you can collect a lot of rewards and the items you need to upgrade your city and troops there are everything you need to upgrade your city in road of legends like there are speed ups troops speed up building speed up research speed 